Hello and welcome by Yeezy Arxidon. My name is Ilkian Wiersma and today I'd like to share you, with you uh, my newest painting. It's uh, a painting titled Coming Home and it's all about the energy horses. Uh, I have a, a tutorial uh, about how I um, made these uh, energy horses so I will have a link pop up uh, by now. You can check that out. And if you already have or if you are going to do that, you may notice that these have a, a bit of a different color and that's uh, because I uh, did glaze over them. So in the tutorial I only used my transparent mixing white, but for this tutorial I used a paint but I also layered some, uh, some purples on top of the, um, the horses. And that's basically the color that I used also for the background, but I thinned it out with uh, quite a lot of water and give them a hint of that background color to make them more fit in the whole piece. And here you see a uh, planet and uh, it's, it's their home, so that's why I call it uh, they are coming home. They went on a kind of journey, I think, and uh, now they are coming home. So uh, that's what I uh, try to, um, to paint and um, yeah, it's more of a surrealistic painting, obviously. And uh, as you may know, I like to uh, paint the, in that style uh, quite uh, quite some time. I do realistic, but I also like the uh, surrealistic. And these horses are running on the clouds, and um, there's a sort of star here. And uh, all of those things, I will show you in the tutorial how I made this. But um, the um, mediums that I used are basically the airbrush, and my acrylic paints. So that's uh, what you're going to see now. Here's the this tutorial. And as usual, I like to start out with a uh, solid background uh, ground, uh, color. And in this case, I use the uh, Mars black and some deep violet and some blues. And those are kind of cool colors. And I like that because of the contrast it will give me when I am uh, airbrushing the hints of light into my painting. I think the contrast is, is a bit stronger than I would use uh, when I would only use um, warmer colors. So therefore I start with a, uh, a dark and cooler uh, background. And also I like to uh, get rid of the white of the canvas. So therefore I uh, found this um, this very easy and also my uh, uh, lines I use a white pastel pencil to drawing my uh, drawings later on will show up uh, quite well on a uh, dark background and also the stars that I'm making these splashes of stars uh, are showing up uh, quite well because of the uh, the darkness of the uh, the background and once again this is a surrealistic painting I am trying to uh, copy a bit of the uh, yeah stars and the planets and uh, basically the universe uh, feeling and that's uh, what I liked for this painting and also uh, of course I'm going to include the horses I'm calling personally I'm calling the and them energy horses but yeah you can basically call them anything you like but um, yeah I found this uh, this sort of image I, I, I saw in my head and I uh, really had to, to paint it it's just uh, uh, like there is a different life, not only on Earth, but something somewhere there is a uh, planet filled with uh, with these beautiful horses, something like that. So um, for that, uh, for this planet that I'm painting, I'm just roughly painting in some texture, even though in the end piece it will not show up um, as as well as you can see it now. The contrast is very quite big on on this now, and it's quite rough in texture, but it will. Um, will go uh, most of that will go away when i'm airbrushing uh, over it later on but i'm uh, painting in it quite strong and here i'm blending it but i will end up with quite some texture but i know that i will come over it with the airbrush and that will uh, get rid of the uh, the texture and also i like these uh, brown tones i don't know why but i personally like them for this planet so uh, and that's the nicest thing of these sear sear sorry surrealistic paintings you can uh, basically the uh, basically paint anything uh, anything you like so therefore uh, yeah i chose these uh, these earthy earthy colors for this uh, this planet and i don't know if i mentioned it but i am using my acrylic paints for this and i like to mix uh, this uh, the acrylic paints with the airbrush because they go very well together and they also dry up uh, quite fast both of them and also if I would use oil paint I cannot paint over that with my airbrush because of it's, uh, the airbrush paint is uh, water based and the oil paints isn't so therefore I, that will, would give me some troubles but uh, therefore I always choose to uh, use my acrylic paints and then the airbrush but if I would like I could glaze over it with, uh, with oil paints but uh, for this uh, 
types of paintings I don't think it's needed because I can uh, achieve every basically everything I like for the painting so therefore I stick with the acrylics and the airbrush and I'm just building up my textures I'm really watching the lights and the darks the darker the, the background colors the, the the better the lighter colors will show up and I'm losing uh, using quite a lot of uh, transparent mixing white also on this planet not on the free horse because I uh, can glaze over it very easily and gives me a nice smooth uh, texture texture I'm sorry and I'm using different uh, paint brushes I, ha I have a few who are uh, sort of my favorites but uh, basically there you should uh, only be needing one uh, i'm sorry uh, one brush to uh, finish up a painting if you are uh, have your uh, brushes under control <laughs> but um yeah i like to switch to uh, within a few of them but i don't need uh, i don't use quite uh, quite much uh, paint brushes some smaller ones some bigger ones and i always use a liner brush for the details i really like those for uh, for making details finer details and here you saw, see me starting uh, with the airbrush. I'm just uh, filling in the, the, the cloud feel. So I start out with a white paint. And I'm doing that because that will stand out on the dark background much better than I would start with uh, colors. Because most of the colors are translucent. So therefore I like to use the white. And I can easily glaze over them with my colors, which you see me, see me doing here. These colors are quite um, strong, but I will uh, tone them down later on with, uh, with some dark purple, which I'm doing here. Um, I'm using some black and some purple, and I'm just uh, glazing over with my airbrush. And you can really get that soft, uh, nice cloud feel, feel very easily. I, uh, the airbrush is a very, very handy uh, tool, if I can... Uh, can name it like that but it's a very handy tool uh, to use for this kinds of uh, paintings and i really like the halo effect around the um, the planet it lets it stand out uh, a bit more i'm going to tone it down because i thought the colors later on will uh, suit it uh, were suited better for this painting but uh, yeah i can mess around with it uh, quite a lot because i can glaze over it and uh, when i'm losing too much texture i'm just using white paint again paint it uh, back in and then i can uh, can glaze it again if i like and most of the times I'm using Photoshop to get my colors right or to uh, see if something is working for me or not. But with uh, w when I'm painting, I'm just also uh, testing uh, things out, different colors and see how they work together. Because like I said, it's quite easy to paint over that again. But sometimes it will give a very nice result. So therefore I like to uh, try out also some different things on my canvas. But I'm being careful with that, uh, with that because I need to uh, adjust it if i can if i don't like it so therefore if i don't trust it uh, completely i will uh, use photoshop but uh, sometimes i'm just uh, painting and i like like uh, to st yeah to keep on painting so therefore i'm uh, testing out some things on the canvas and i'm painting in very thin layers so i i bit i always have some texture on uh, on the canvas left so i can easily paint over it and here you see me uh, making those strains of light I really really liked them uh, it makes the painting more complete more as one piece if you ask me and this white is standing out pretty much my camera is uh, yeah overdoing that a little bit because of the contrast of the background it's not that bright as you can see it here but I will tone it down because it was a little bit too bright for me but uh, yeah like I said you can make beautiful contrast if you start out with a very dark background I personally I really liked it because it's very easy to make highlights and to make strong highlights and sometimes for a painting or for a drawing that is something that I personally really like to let it stand out more than in pictures or uh, of a, or things you made in Photoshop you can also adjust it quite easily in Photoshop of course to make highlights and that sort of kind of stuff but I like to go uh, a uh, little bit uh, almost overboard with it when I'm painting because I think that's nice if you're making art and go a little bit more uh, to the stronger colors when you are painting because the photographs can be uh, quite quite soft and everything is right it's of course because of it's a, it, it is a photograph but in my art I like to accelerate some colors and to uh, let them show up a bit more
and I really like that uh, yellowish light hitting the clouds here and there and once again it makes the piece more uh, much stronger if you ask me and here are the horses and here you can see that I'm using a uh, like I said earlier on a white pastel painter to draw in my drawings that pastel will uh, go into the into the paint and you will never see it again so that and it will not give any trouble it's just uh, when uh, as soon as it get uh, in contact with water it will uh, go with the water and, uh, and basically you, you will not see it if you see it it's just uh, almost like paint it's also uh, pastel is, is pigment and it will uh, get into the water but it will not mix up your paint so therefore I like to uh, use a uh, pastel uh, pencil and also the nicest thing is because as you may know I'm really liking uh, working in pastel so I have a lot of different colors so therefore if I had a lighter background I could use a different color to let my drawing show up of course I'm being careful there if I would do that I don't uh, maybe don't want to use black because black will uh, show up a bit more if you need something very very uh, white for example don't don't use darker colors but there will be a color maybe a light blue that will show up on a uh, white uh, or a lighter background but once uh, like I said I can switch colors because the pastel uh, works really great uh, when you will paint when you want to paint over it and this section we basically uh, saw well it was uh, to be honest it was the other horse uh, more to the right, but I use these uh, these horses, these images for my uh, tutorial, my last tutorial, and I had a uh, link uh, in the uh, in the intro showing up where I'm uh, just making a study out of these horses, these horses because I didn't know exactly how to paint them. I had some ideas; they, those ideas work out uh, really great. But if I uh, if they hadn't, I uh, could easily adjust them because I had it uh, painted them on a separate. Um, canvas so I didn't ruin my original work that's a really uh, I really would recommend that if you're not completely sure just use a very uh, yeah maybe a paper or very cheap canvas and and try some things out and if you are uh, quite uh, sure that you would like it in your painting you can paint it then in your original work but you you may otherwise may uh, mess up things you uh, yeah you don't don't want to do of course <laughs> So therefore to be a bit safe I like to use uh, once in a while a, a different canvas. And I'm really really liking that uh, transparent mixing white. It's such a beautiful paint. You can use it for such different um, different things to paint in. For example I like to use it uh, for a uh, for the light on eyes for uh, subjects uh, mostly for animals I like to uh, use it as a uh, to give it a uh, hint of light and uh, also th that shiny feel I should say in the, in, in the eyes and also on feathers on fur I use it quite a lot because it's so easy to glaze over you can adjust you ma can make that hint of uh, of shiny uh, light on f on feathers for example but you can also adjust the color a little bit but you will not lose the texture if you don't use too much paint and once again if you're not really sure you like it you can paint over it very easily so therefore I really like the transparent mixing white and here and there are some details to make a horse more complete to give it a more more body and this one was uh, had a little bit more details on them than the other ones so I tried to stick with my reference photos here but I, I uh, use just a few lines to, to, to uh, in the case to give an indication of uh, some muscles that I thought would be uh, beneficial for my painter to paint in to give them uh, like I said a little bit more of a, uh, a body to them with of course without losing that transparent feel and I think I, uh, I managed to do that and for this I will later on will give them a little bit more color because they stand out uh, uh, for me way too much at this point so therefore I use the uh, the purple of the background I uh, I kept that paint I uh, stored it in a little container and now uh, it was still usable for me because uh, like you know may know acrylic paints like to dry out uh, quite quickly so if I have to reuse a color that I mixed up I will uh, store that in a little container and then I can uh, can use it again and uh, what I did was because the d uh, the background color is very dark I used quite a lot of water with that color and just glazed over the horses to give them a, a more uh, yeah the, the background color it 
they will get a little bit uh, pushed back because they were a little bit too uh, too much on the front now and also you see me using here the airbrush I'm just glazing over with my airbrush I use the paint and the airbrush I used both because I wasn't happy uh, with, with the glaze only from the paint but this is, uh, this is the um, photo of the uh, original painting uh, the colors does do show up more in my picture once again that's because of the I using daylight lamps in my studio so they are a bit uh, fail the colors but this is uh, how it uh, looks in uh, real life of the closest I should say because it's obviously it's a picture of the painting but uh, yeah this is uh, basically it so like I said in the intro, I like to uh, paint uh, some uh, surrealistic uh, lately more often just because I uh, have some images in my head and I really like to uh, uh, get them on a canvas and most of them are have a um, bit of a uh, story within them and it's perfectly fine if, uh, if somebody doesn't see that story that I try to make, it's fine for me. It's just for me I like to paint this way but it may uh, tell you something completely different than I uh, try to uh, that I personally try to paint that's okay I just uh, just like it when people like my paintings and uh, once again if they uh, um, see something different in them, them or they feel something different in them and that's totally fine uh, with me I think that is the nicest thing of art so uh, feel free and of course uh, to uh, see what you want and of course if you have any questions or suggestions please leave them in the comment section below I really uh, like that and also if you like my tutorials or this particular tutorial please uh, give it a thumbs up and also um, I'd like to thank you for watching uh, this tutorial and I hope you like my tutorials and would like to subscribe to my channel and then I hope to see you at one of my next tutorials. Bye bye!